Today, we're going to cover a question that I get quite frequently regarding Microsoft Office and whether or not they need it. One of the reasons I get this a lot is I have uh, customers who have college-age students and their instructors tell them they have to get Office in order to do their work, their documents, their spreadsheets, and things like that. And unfortunately, there is a cost involved with Microsoft Office and not everybody can afford it. So I'm going to show you a cheap alternative, cheap meaning free and also the upsides and downsides to both so that you can make an educated decision about whether or not you need to pay for the actual Microsoft Office program or you can use this free version and not spend any money. We have a spreadsheet. Your student needs to be able to do spreadsheets at school. Well, if you have Microsoft Office, that means you would have bought the Microsoft Office package at either a lease price of $99 a year for one machine or $249 for the one-time purchase. Now, that's a lot of money. Here it is an example. I've got a spreadsheet. I'll just open it here. Microsoft Excel opens just fine. Same with a sample Word document. This program called OpenOffice is an alternative to Microsoft Office. It's open source, which means it's free, and it is 100% compatible with Microsoft Office. I've already installed the program here. When you open the program, you can do a text document document like you would a Microsoft Word document. You can do a spreadsheet like a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. You can do a presentation like a PowerPoint presentation. Drawing access uh, database like Microsoft Access and so on. So as you can see, I'll just open up a sample Word document here and you can see the format all the formatting and everything looks almost identical to Microsoft Office. And if I were to open up that same document in this program, it looks exactly the same. Fully compatible and absolutely free. Same thing with the spreadsheet program. If I were to open that spreadsheet that you just looked at, look at that, looks exactly the same for zero dollars. Now, by default, the Open Office program has its own file formats. Okay, I don't want to get too complicated, but if you're familiar with Microsoft Office where the um, Word document is a .doc file or Excel spreadsheets or .xls, those are file formats specifically for Microsoft Office. It takes a couple clicks and you can make OpenOffice completely compatible with Microsoft Office. All you have to do is open the program, you go to Tools, Options, and right here under Load and Save, General, it lets you specify the file formats. As you can see, a text document, like a Microsoft Word document, in OpenOffice, it's a .odf, which is specific to OpenOffice. But all you have to do is click this drop-down box and change it to Microsoft Word 97 2000 or XP. Then go here to Spreadsheet and change it to Office, or excuse me, Excel 97 2000 XP and for presentations PowerPoints and such do the same thing PowerPoint 97 2000 XP and click OK now what you have done is you have taken this free program and made it hundred percent compatible with Microsoft Office and I'll show you as example as to how okay so to demonstrate my point I'm going to create a new document in the version of Office that costs money, which is Microsoft Word. And we'll just create a basic document here called Test. We'll save it. Okay. Now, here it is right here. We can open it up, the document we just created, and there it is. Or, we can open it up in open office which is free and there it is same document same formatting 
everything looks identical the only difference is one program costs you money and the other one is free so that being said obviously advantage open office versus Microsoft office which costs you money now those are the positives now here are the downsides to open office the one thing that open office does not have is an email program Microsoft office includes this program called Outlook which lets you download and save mail to your local computer so if that's important to you and you need that then you're probably going to need to go with Microsoft Office or use a different program there's a bunch of different programs out there um, Thunderbird is one that I recommend it's made by the same people that make Firefox it's also a free program if you want to download mail to your computer you can also use Windows Mail or a handful of other ones the vast majority of people though use an online service like Gmail or you know Hotmail or something like that and they actually go to you know Yahoo to check their mail or whatever most people use the web to check their mail if that's the case then you don't need a mail program to download mail if you check it on the web in which case advantage back to open office what I would recommend, especially if you get a professor at school who says you need Microsoft Office, I would first find out if all you're going to be doing is opening and creating and editing documents and spreadsheets, if it requires anything specific to Microsoft Office, or if that's all you're doing is just viewing, editing, creating documents and spreadsheets. I've got three kids in school whose teachers have all said they need Microsoft Office all of them have open office on their computers and the documents are flawless and transparent and the professors can't tell the difference because the document is comp uh, completely compatible with Microsoft and all the teacher needs to do is be able to open the document and see that the file has data in it and they're perfectly fine and it costs me zero dollars so in that regard again you can pay Microsoft 100 bucks a year or 250 for the program or you could download open office for free and do the same exact thing and I don't know about you but 250 bucks that's some decent Christmas presents for my kids if it's money I don't have to spend so uh, I'd love to hear your comments down below. If you have any questions, concerns, I'd love to address them. Um, to me, it's a no-brainer, but it doesn't work for everybody. So you should at least find out for yourself first with the free program. And if that doesn't work, then go ahead and pay for the Microsoft program. Both programs are great. This is not a ding on Microsoft. My only thinking is, is if I can do the same thing for free, why wouldn't I?